Hi guys, I'm planning on making another pop pop boat. Haven't made one for several years, but I found I'd got this little tin lip balm, which is empty, and it's magnetic or um, steel or iron ferrous, I think is the word we're looking for. So I've just rubbed some of the paint off and I'm going to see if it actually takes solder because if it takes solder okay I'll rub the rest of the paint off round the edge there and round here and I'll solder the top to the bottom drill a couple of holes in it put some pipes in it and then this will be our boiler and the pipes will take the steam out to the back of the boat or out to the water where it then condenses and gets sucked back in again. So the first thing is just see if this will take solder. If it doesn't, then I'm wasting my time and we'll have to find a different tin. Now this is some very old flux for plumbing soldering that I've had for an awfully long time. In fact, it used to be my father's before me. So I'll just put a little bit on there. Unfortunately, my plumbing solder is up in the loft somewhere where I had to do some plumbing. So we'll just try ordinary electrical solder here. And we probably need my bigger soldering iron than this one. Because this will take the heat away very quickly. But we just want to see if it actually takes solder. And that looks to me like it has. If it goes into little bubbles and runs off, then you know it's not taking it. But that appears to be fine. For the pipes, I've got some brass tubing from B&Q. Most of the label's missing, so I can't tell you what it is. I think it's six millimeter. That looks like about six millimeter brass tubing. I'd rather have had copper, because it bends easier. I've made up a wooden um, former here. It's just some scrap wood that I've cut a semicircle on the end. I've bashed that nail in there so that's a tight fit on the pipe and we could try cold bending it or we could heat up the brass pipe and it should bend easier what we don't want it to do is flatten so I'll give it a try I'll heat this up and see if we can bend it round in a semicircle now it's an awfully long time since I've done this. I really ought to go and look it up first as to how much I need to heat this up to get it to bend properly. But I don't well, I don't know. I could just go for it, couldn't I? Heat it up, see if we can bend it. If I get it all wrong, we can go and look it up. I can't remember whether we're supposed to heat this up so it's cherry red hot, dull red hot, or just changes to a dull color anyway. So I would advise you, rather than copy exactly what I'm doing, look it up. Obviously this will get hot, Oh, that's, that's cherry red already. And it's going to burn that wood, so I'll put the fan on to extract some of the smoke. Started all right. 
you won't be able to actually see the colour in the camera but the metal is actually glowing a dull red so there we go that's what I want and that will be hot so don't go getting hold of it I need to cut that off to the length I want and then do another one because we need two like that right I'll go and cool that one down and that will be our two tubes just remember that is probably burning so that would be a good idea to cool that one down as well I've carefully cleaned all the paint off around where we're actually going to solder the top to the bottom. What I'm now looking at is where I want to put the pipes. That's basically what I'm aiming for. 80 watt soldering iron. That's a bit more like it. I think I used to use 120 watt for when I was soldering model aeroplane fuel tanks. It's a much bigger beast than this. Yeah, looks like we've got a good seal. Obviously when we put a flame under here it's going to burn the paint. But I'm not too worried about that. For a quick test, I think what I'll do is I'll use this aluminium tray that our dinner came in the other day. So I'll just poke a couple of holes in it so we can push the tubes through. So, hot glued in place. Just see if it works. First thing we need to do is fill it with water. So you pour it down one tube. And when it comes out the other one you know you filled it. way of doing it is using a syringe to force it in. Well we'll see how we go. As long as there's some in there it should be enough to boil. That's going to take quite a while to heat up enough to boil the water. My experience has been 10 minutes or more you can be waiting, so we might fast forward the video. Finally, we got some motion. Bring it back here. <laughs> I had to take most of the water out. I think the boiler is too big. And it was holding too much water so it couldn't heat it up properly. So I've emptied most of the water out and away we go. All right, we're in the bath now. That's moving along at quite a rate. Do 
Right, again. It's not a very loud pop pop, is it? Should have put a rudder on it, shouldn't I? Still, that was really just to test the motor, putting it in that aluminium tray. Well, battery just went when I was doing my final summary. So I'll just do it again. So we've got a lip balm container that I've soldered shut. A couple of brass tubes that I curved. So they go in the front round and stick out the back. Uh, we're using a tea light that's got four wicks in it to give us extra heat and I also had to tip most of the water out that I put in there because it just couldn't heat up the volume of water to get the right effect. And there's a bit of weight in the back of this aluminium tray just to make sure the pipes stay in the water because they need to be in the water for it to work. And it works and it's almost silent clearly the metal um, little container there hasn't got much flex in it so we're not getting the classic pop 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 noise but if we listen quietly we can hear it and it moves at quite a rate I just can't understand it can move so fast when it's such a awkward shape for the water. I don't even know if the camera will pick up the noise it makes. And I did just use hot glue to seal the pipe holes there. And it's not leaking and it's not melting. It seemed to be going around in a circle at the moment. Which is alright, that makes the filming a bit easier. When it's that quiet, you really can't believe it's working. Check the video description to try and understand how it works.
we'll just mention Daryl Foster. There will be links in my video description to my playlist of pop pop boats, but there'll be quite a few of his boats in there. And I'll put a link to his site. He's recently just stopped doing them. He's decided he's too old to keep on. But he's done loads of pop pop boats and they're beautiful. It's got some that are really noisy because that's one of the things that people like about pop pop boats, ones that are really noisy. And he's just got some very interesting looking ones too. So check out Daryl Foster's channel. I don't think any of his are quiet like this one. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.